Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video earlier using Line and Distribute, and somebody thought, well, that's so cool. Why isn't there a shortcut key? Because there are shortcut keys for other things. So we go to Object, Align and Distribute, and open up the Line and Distribution Docker. You can see that, let me just select the, all the words, and you can see all the other shortcut keys, L for left, right, top, bottom, center, E for vertical, page, but there's nothing for this in a hotkey. Well, you can make your own hotkey. And the difference between this, this distributes them from the top of the letters. This distributes, distributes them from the center of the word. This distribute, distributes them from the bottom. And then this one is the best one because it, it puts the spacing vertically apart. So the space between here to here, which is the top of the B, to the top of the D, to the bottom of the L, is the one you want. So let's mess this up a little bit, just holding down the shift key so it won't go left or right. And let's make a hotkey for it. Go to Tools, Options, Customization, Commands, and then open up, because the FX is under Object, most of the time you can go to that and help it help you find it but because it's kind of like a sub menu you know it's like a docker so you can't just go and uh, well you can but we need to find distribute so let's go to options customization commands and right here under object just start typing dis and we hear here they are distribute spacing vertically. Let me go down. Yes, because there's a distribute from the top. There's the, from the bottom. So let's go distribute spacing vertically. And there we go. Now let's go to shortcut keys. And there is a shortcut key, and I might have created that because I don't believe it doesn't show up. But let's, uh, let's actually delete that. And let's be right in here, just type in your own shortcut key. I don't really know what's not being used or what you could keep in mind. There's, let's do U. That's a letter that's not being assigned. Now let's assign it and then hit OK. Now let's select all our items and hit U. And there you go. You have a shortcut key. Let's actually see if it shows up. It might not show up in the Docker. No, it's not going to show up in the Docker because it's a little different animal. But that did the exact same thing. As you can see, it didn't move, so it worked. So that'll, you know, you're going to have to make a shortcut key that you can remember. But if you can remember you, and I'm just wondering if you could use, now if you go, see a lot of the keys, like uh, that's S for live sketch, you know, spacing. So you just have to find a key and you can make it, you know, multiple key. Um, you know, you could call it, well, let's just do another one real quick. Let's mess this up a little bit here. Maybe something you could remember a little bit better. Let's go to tools, options, customization, commands. And remember right here, just type, start typing in. Distribute vertically. No, we need distribute vertically. This one right here where you can actually see spacing vertically. And there's our U. Let's select it and delete it. Now we'll make a new shortcut key. Let's call it Control S. It's not being used. So that, to me, Control S would be spacing and always hit OK. Now let's grab it all and Control S and it worked. So you could make a hot cut key for anything that's going to have a function. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.